I'm going to show you something. We just not up here preaching to be preaching or teaching to be teaching, right? We're trying to save our people and bring them back to God's law. What's your name, my brother? Ozzy, what's your nationality? Huh? Uh, who is your father? No, who is your earthly father? What, what? Okay, so you're from the tribe of Manasseh. All right, that's who you are according to the Bible, my brother. All right, I want you to listen to this, okay? Huh? No, you, yeah, Manasseh right there. If, you, if your father's Cuban, you're Cuban. You're from the tribe of Manasseh. That's a, a mighty tribe right there because you're a part of the nation of Israel. That's right. Titus 3 and 3. Read that. The book of Titus chapter 3 verse 3. Listen to this. Mark. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. So when we come out here on the streets, we're telling you that we were sometimes foolish. We've been there, did it, and done it. It's foolish not to follow the laws of the land. That's not against God. Read. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, uh -huh. disobedient. We were sometimes disobedient to God. That's why God had to put us in a position to call upon him. He put us in a lower state to where now we got to call upon him. Read. Deceived. All of us have been deceived. We've been deceived by religion. Look at this. We've been uh, deceived by false Christ. You see that? All of our people have been deceived. Read. Serving diverse lust and pleasure. Serving lust and pleasure like homosexuality. Smoking dope, right. drinking, getting drunk, pouring out our sisters, our fornicating, committing adultery. Read. Living in malice and envy. Living in malice, hating one another. Not even knowing that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans were one family. Right. But we hate one another. Why? Because we have no knowledge. We have not been taught. We don't know our nationality. We don't know our roots. Read. Hateful. And hating one another. So why do the blacks hate Hispanics? Why do Hispanics hate blacks? Why? Can you tell me why? Ignorant. Yeah, we ignorant to the knowledge of God. Right. You're right. Not in a bad way. You're right. right. Don't know. We don't know. That's why we out here trying to teach you, so you can come in and teach your people, so we can get the hell up out of here. <clears throat> Read. But after that. The kindness of kindness and love of God are the kindness and the love of God. The kindness and the love of God is what? What do you think the kindness and the love of God is? What do you think, my brother? What do you think that the kindness and the love of God is? What do you think, sister? You don't know? What do you think, brother? Okay. But okay, that's Huh? Knowledge and, guidance. Knowledge and guidance, but we're still here to receive moves us from this earth. That's called grace and mercy. That's why he giving it's right. It's not a happenstance that you hear. You hear to hear it and have an opportunity to make that change. Because Obama, when he was up, he was talking about change. Right. <laughs> Are we changed yet? Bring it out. Nothing. Huh? Or, or, or do we still have gangs? Right. right? Are we still killing one another? Right. You see that? So let me ask you a question. What do the Hispanics have that the so-called Negroes don't have? What does the so-called Negro have that the Hispanics don't have? Bring it out. I would say they have, they have the same thing. We're going to prove that to you. Give me Jeremiah 50, 33. We're going to prove it to you. That's how you know we're the same people. We're in the same condition. The Hispanic went into slavery in the 1400s. We went into slavery in the 1600s. Right. We were there the same way. Right. Same people. Right. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 51 and verse 33. 50 and 33. Yes, chapter 50 and verse 33. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. We were what? Oppressed together. Now let me ask y'all a question. 
here in America today, at this time, on this day, are the blacks and Hispanics being oppressed the same way? Exactly. Yeah. We've been oppressed the same way. So why do we think we're better than the other one? Right. The scripture said you're not above your nation. Because right. we got what? Give me Leviticus 19 and 17. Uh, you can tell what you're saying. They don't mention Hispanics and black at the same time. Right. Make, right. Make sure we don't it's, called, it's called conquering what? Conquering what? Conquer and divide. So if you divide a force that's bigger than you are, and you divide that force, and you put them, half of them on your side, then what? You in rulership. You good. You, did you get what I just said? If you divide a force that's bigger than you are, and pull half of them to your side, then you going to continue to rule. Read that. There's a book of Leviticus, chapter 19, head verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. And that's a lot of our people got that problem. We hate, we hate our own people because of what they have, how much money they got, how big a house they have, right. the skin color, the hair, the, the texture of the hair. All these things, just ignorant things we hate each other for. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. And first of all, we don't even know we're brothers. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So we let our brothers and sisters do what the hell they want to do, even though we know it's wrong. We can see our brother finna get ready to get hit by a car. We won't even yell and say, come back. You're going to get hit. We just let them get hit. That's hatred. We don't try to correct one another. Hey, brother, don't smoke that. It's going to kill you. Don't smoke that weed. It's going to mess your brain up. Hey, brother, you ain't had enough. Don't drink no more. You're going to get drunk. Then something bad can happen to you. You see that? Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. I said of thy people. It ain't talking about anybody else. It's only talking about the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. First John chapter 3, verse 15. Because when we hate our brothers and sisters, this is what the Bible says that we're doing. Because in order for you to hate, something has to transpire in your mind. Something has to transpire in your mind to do something evil. Read. First John chapter 3 and verse 15. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. Read that again. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. Even though you haven't did the physical act yet, it's in your mind to do it. So that means it can happen at any time. But you already thought about it. You see that? And I'm going to prove it to you that our minds are wicked as hell. And that's why we need the scriptures. That's why we need the scriptures. Give me Mark 7, 21. This is why we need the scriptures to reform that. Get that for me. Mark chapter 7, verse 21. Read. It's the book of Mark, chapter 7, and verse 21. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. That's all of us. All of us. When the Bible talks about your heart, it's not talking about the vessel that pump. This thing doesn't think. It just pumps blood. It's talking about your mind. We got to have a different mindset toward our brothers. All of us get caught up in that sometimes. Because men have that pride on us. And the women, they are weaker vessels, so they're more emotional. You see that? Read it again. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adultery, fornication. So in order for you to commit adultery, first you got to go where? You got to do what first? In order for you to commit adultery, or sleep with somebody else's wife or husband, where does it start? In your mind. In your mind, you got to think about it. Read. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulterers, fornication. Fornication. You look upon that sister, you be like, man, I got to have her. Let me go spit some word to her. 
start from the mind. It's giving you what to say to her so you can get the tail. You see that? All in the mind. How you doing, my brother? What's your name? Christopher? We're going over that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true people of God. And right now we're talking about our mindset. Read that again. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders. What? Murders. Blacks and Hispanics murdering each other. All caught up in gangs. Thinking we're different, but we're the same. Read. Thefts. What? Thefts. Don't want to get a job, but I'd rather steal from my brother and sister. Read. Covetousness. Covering what somebody else got, so I'm going to take it. They out here stealing trucks, cars, everything. Read. Wickedness. What? Wicked. All of it is wicked. Read. Deceit. What? Deceit. We deceiving one another, lying to one another. Read. Lasciviousness. Got their strong sexual desires. Now we got people booty bumping. Huh? Read. An evil eye. Evil eye. Looking at our brother me like I'm going to kill you. Read. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Saying this is Christ and this is not Christ. Yep. Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Read. Pride. What? Pride. And that's what all of us have on that pride. That's why we got to break that. The Bible will break that if we follow it. Read. Foolishness. What? Foolish. It's foolish when you don't follow the laws of the land. That's not against the word of God. Read. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. That's what defile us. That's what defile the blacks, Hispanics, and Native. Let me show you. Let me show y'all some of the scripture. Because they've been telling us for years that we're nothing and nobody, right? Give me first Chronicles chapter 17 and verse 21. I'm gonna show you what God says about the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He's gonna tell you how great we are. But we're not walking in our greatness. Read. The book of First Chronicles, chapter 17 and verse 21. And what nation, and what one nation in the earth is like unto thy people Israel. What? Read that again. And what one nation in the earth is like unto thy people Israel. What nation on this earth is like us? Yeah. How, how can we prove that we're better? Uh, how can we prove that we're better? What do you expect? No, no. How can we prove that we're better than the other nation? Better than the other nation? Okay, that's one aspect of it, but I need some more key. Okay, I need some better than that. How can we prove that we're better than all the other nations? Don't so, No, something very simple. Who's the best boxer? Huh? Who's best in sport? Who's best in everything we do? Golf, cooking, tennis. tennis. See? That's one aspect to show that we're better than all the other nations. You see that? Now, let me ask you this. All the stuff that's in the world of America, right? You know the word when it says inventions, right? You know what inventions are, right? How you think America was built over what? Over our what? Knowledge. Over our what? Knowledge. Over our what? Knowledge. Off of our knowledge. Scientific research. Yes. Thousands of years. Brother, brother, I'm talking about, I'm talking about over our surgery, our car wash, street lights, painting, painting, painting all these things. The George Washington carpet did not discover. That's right. It was us. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It was us, my brother. So, since we feel so special, right? Why are we not walking like we're special? Why all the other nations have got all the business that they bring their business up here, they rob us of all our money, they take it back to their family, send their kids to college, they can buy all the big homes, they buy all the businesses, and they offer our backs. Why are we not doing that? Why are we not having to do it? Huh? We don't trust ourselves. We don't trust ourselves and we don't trust each other. Because conquer and divide will do that to a people. It will keep us separated. 
Can you imagine if the blacks and the Spanish got together? Right. Can you imagine what the hell we can do on earth? Bring it out! With all the knowledge and stuff that we have. Rest of our next year, we'll be rich. Huh? Niches. But listen, it's not about being rich. That's what I'm saying. It's not about, I'm going to show you something. It's not about being rich. It's about having control. You see that? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Did you hear what the Bible said about God's people? The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Read it again. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now if our people don't believe that, a lot of our people don't believe that we, we, we're the best. We don't believe that we're above all people. Why? Because we're at the bottom of society. That's why we don't believe. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 